Coastal development is inevitable, creating tremendous pressure on the fragile marine and coastal ecosystems. Coastal defense systems such as breakwaters, seawalls, and revetments replace natural habitats and are often composed from precast concrete units. The environmental impacts of these structures are significant as they are characterized by steep slopes, low structural complexity, and high homogeneity, as opposed to natural coastal habitats. Seeing the effects of breakwaters and other artificial coastal structures around the world, our aim is to develop a fully functional infrastructure which encourages growth of diverse plants and animals native to the project's environment. Our multidisciplinary team studied the various elements of natural tide pools, rocky shores and oyster beds to find key elements we can adopt. We identified different natural elements that can be utilized to address the three main problems of coastal infrastructure, material composition, surface complexity, and macro design. After analyzing natural beach rock and rocky reefs, we developed a proprietary concrete admix. Now, this admix affects the concrete to biologically perform closer to natural substrate than standard concrete, while complying with all structural requirements for coastal construction. The high surface complexity of beach rock and natural rock pools encourages biological growth and offers a protected habitat for fish, larvae, and other organisms from currents and predation. Furthermore, in different species such as barnacles and oysters, the larvae prefer to settle on the surface of mature shells than on surrounding surfaces. Taking these observations into account, and after testing several designs, the surface of the coastal protection unit has been tailored to mimic natural surface complexity with engraved ridges. The properties of natural tide pools have been thoroughly analyzed and mimicked as part of the design of our coastal defense units. Like natural tide pools, the units are divided into complexity levels, increasing the surface area. In addition, by creating diverse sizes of cavities rather than a single large one, we've increased the coastal defense unit's biodiversity and associated ecosystem services. Pilots of the units have been placed in the Mediterranean and on both coasts of the Atlantic Ocean, showing great results both in terms of coastal protection and ecological uplift. We conduct periodic monitoring of the structural and biological performances to ensure the products meet all initial objectives. 